mm-hmm. emphasize a lot of times so that's... The, king, the, the time frame you want to you want to use uh that's really important yeah. and obviously it's for accurate data but it's also important just to kind of get what you're trying to do like what you're trying to go after if you want to see yep. if you know something you're working on has improved this month versus last month or maybe you're trying to track like every seven days or every 30 days am i tracking in the right direction yeah you know that time frame is is the tool you're going to want to use for that yeah and i like that's a good point that you kind of just brought up there too about you know is something working or, or how are you tracking in the last 30 days if you're thinking of launching a campaign this is a tool that can be useful to you to just kind of baseline get a good measurement of how any changes that you've made to your shop are working for you so um like let's say you're going to launch a Pinterest campaign, right? And you're going to start pinning things more frequently and trying to, you know, target your your customer on Pinterest and pull them over to your Etsy shop. Running the Shop Fitness calculator, making your changes, running your campaign for 30 days, 60 days, you know, whatever, um, and then coming back and doing Shop Fitness calculator again could give you some valuable insights into whether or not all that stuff you did actually worked. 